Hello and good afternoon. Holly Shields here reporting to you live from Kathleen Studio in Sydney where it's lunchtime. And that means it's time for the mid-market polls. In today's show, we'll be taking a look at the overall Australian share market performance by the mid-session trade and then exploring the biggest winners and losers of the day, including names like Chalice Mining, Magellan Financial, Clinovel Pharma, Star Entertainment, Whitehaven Coal and others. Then lastly, we'll focus on the stocks like Pilbara Minerals, Sezzle, Afterpay, EML Payments, ERA, Regal Investment Fund, and many more that grabbed headlines today. So without further ado, let's kick it off. And the Australian share market opened higher after continuing to trade by the afternoon following firm cues from Wall Street, while rebounds in commodity prices also supported the market. Investor sentiment was buoyed by news that U.S. Senators reached an agreement to avoid a debt default. Pairing more than half of the early gains, the benchmark index ASX 200 was up 0.20% by lunchtime. The index opened high today following a strong closing at Wall Street and gained as much as 0.9%. In the overnight trade, U.S. stocks closed higher in a broad rally led by heavyweight tech stocks as investors cheered developments on debt ceiling limit extensions. The U.S. Senate took a step towards closer passing the $556 billion increase in Treasury Department borrowing authority. This deal will extend the debt ceiling through to early December. All this as the Dow Jones Industrial Average settled with a 1.15% gain, while the S&P 500 surged 1%. The Nasdaq Composite, on the other hand, ended at 1.3% higher and back home on the sectoral front. All 11 sectoral indices were trading in the positive terrain. The tech sector was the best performer with a 1.4% gain following firm cues from its U.S. counterpart, Nasdaq. The tech sector was followed by materials, which rose 1.2% owing to a rise in iron ore prices. Among others, telecom, utilities, consumer discretionary, consumer staples and energy also saw a surge in buying. To the COVID front now, and New South Wales recorded 646 new infections and 11 deaths in the past 24 hours. Meanwhile, Victoria's daily cases continue to outnumber New South Wales by surging to over 1,800 today. This was the highest daily case tally in any Australian jurisdiction during the beginning of the pandemic. Although health authorities have said that the state is still on track to reach the vaccination targets set out in VIC's roadmap in order to lift lockdowns. Now let's have a look at the top gainers and losers by the mid-session trade on the market. Well, the top of the ASX pack was Aussie gold miner Chalice Mining, which surged 4.6% by the afternoon. Some other notable gainers include financial services firm Magalian Financial, asset management business Janice Henderson Group, and mining company Nickel Mines, as well as fintech major Afterpay. On the flip side, though, payment solutions company EML Payments topped the loser's chart by falling a staggering 12%. Some of the other worst performers include Domino's Pizza Enterprises, drug maker Clinovel Pharmaceuticals, gaming and entertainment group Star Entertainment, and coal miner Whitehaven Coal. With that said, let's move on to the stocks that created a buzz today. And first up, shares of lithium producer Pilbara Minerals rose over 1% after it announced the commencement of commissioning activities at the Nanguju plant. This plant is wholly owned by Pilangora Project, located in WA's Pilbara region. The company stated that this is the first step of stage recommissioning for the Nanguju operation. The Fines Spodamine Processing Circuit is expected to commence production within the March quarter of 2022. Now it's time for a short break, but stay tuned because I'll be right back on Calcine TV with more trending market updates. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. 
what the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Kalkine TV. Property by Kalkine. Looking for a dream home? Well, that may sound easy, but it isn't. And from looking for a property that is the right fit for you in terms of cost and other factors, to zeroing down on the right mortgage plan, there are various aspects to consider. And for the latest slowdown in the property market, tune in on Kalkine TV with me, Sage. I will give the latest updates on the property market, as well as real estate stocks to help you make the right decision. Keep watching Property with Kalkine. Tune in to stay updated while on the move. We will tell you where the crypto craze has reached. Where the property market is headed next. What the world is doing to become more environmentally friendly. Apart from tracking the daily market charter. Be on top of the latest news and announcements with Kalkine TV. Hello and welcome back. Holly Shields here reporting to you live from Sydney and you're watching the Mid Market Commentary. Let's have a look now at some more stocks that grabbed market attention today. Well, US Bay Pinal Pay Later Major Sezzle extended the rally for the second day upon reporting its partnership with US retail at Target. On Thursday, American retail giant Target announced the official launch of its Buy Now Pay Later offering with Sezzle ahead of the Christmas holiday season. The company has also teamed up with US-based financial tech company Affirm Holdings to offer payment solutions to its customers. And next up, shares of AML payments plunged nearly 12% after its subsidiary faces regulatory scrutiny in Ireland. That's right, the company's Irish subsidiary PFS Card Services has received correspondence from the Central Bank of Ireland about the regulatory concerns and potential directions regarding the remediation plan and material growth. Both companies are to provide it with submissions regarding the potential directors. And the share price of energy resources of Australia dropped over 5% after the uranium oxide producer stated that its range of project faces the risk of cost and schedule overruns. While the company is not yet in a position to provide estimates with an acceptable degree of confidence, it has become apparent that the cost and schedule overruns will be material. The company is one of the nation's largest uranium oxide producers and operated the Rangers Mine, the country's largest continually operating uranium mine. Meanwhile, Regal Investment Fund has raised the full $97.9 million for its placement and institutional entitlement offer. This is part of a $212.3 million raising that will be followed with a one-for-three entitlement offer with general unit holders. The offer is set at the price of $379 a share, and following the announcement, shares were trading nearly 6% lower. And lastly, shares of BNPL Player OpenPay continued the rally for the second day and gained 6% today. The stock saw a surge in buying after it secured a $372 million receivable warehouse facility from the Goldman Sachs and Atelier Asset Management. The funding triples the company's existing credit facilities and includes just over 1 million warrants for fully paid ordinary shares in the company to be given to Goldman Sachs. The receivables warehouse facility will help the small cap fintech company to fuel its expansion into the US market. OpenPay looks to facilitate transactions for merchants and consumers in the US 
and lays the groundwork to support growth in the region. Well, with that said, that is a wrap in the show for now, but keep watching CalCoin TV for more trading market updates from Australia and around the globe. Holly Shields, signing off.